Good afternoon, Tigers, and welcome to Tiger Vision News for Wednesday, September 18th. I'm Dylan, and this is my co-host, Juan. Thanks for joining us today. We're going to start today's show with a trip to Miss Corley's class. Miss Corley teaches science here at FMS, and she always has something neat going on in her class. Let's go see what she's been up to. I'm going here with Miss Corley. What are y'all doing in science class right now? Well, right now we're learning about cells, so today we're doing a cell CSI activity where the students are answering questions about cells in order to figure out a crime, and then we're also playing a domino review game. And how will this help your students? This is going to help us review for our unit test. How long have you been teaching? This is my seventh year. Thank you. I'm Dylan here with Cameron and Ethan. What do you like about your teacher? She's nice. She's fun. Thanks, Miss Corley. Now let's head over to the library and find out what's all that been going on here this semester. Hello, I'm Alan Amston from Tiger Vision News and I'm here with Miss Ammons. And we are here to ask her about some upcoming events that are happening in the library. What is your what is your favorite book so far? I don't know what my favorite is. When I had to set these brackets up, it was really, really hard because there's so many good ones. So I don't know if I could pick. Okay. What book would you recommend for each grade? Again, I picked the top 96 books in our entire library, the most popular, the most favorite, and then I just had to divide them by grade levels. So any of the 96, you could read and be really happy with them. Okay. And what are some activities that you are doing? Right now we're map testing. That's pretty exciting. Mm -hmm. um, we're also starting to think about our upcoming book fair. It will be in November, right before Thanksgiving break. So we're working on that. Um, we're also starting to think about what kind of um, party or reward that we're going to do around Christmas time for those kids who are doing the tournament of books and uh, meeting their goals that the teachers have given them. And of course, we're always still thinking about the end of the year as well, the big party that we do with all the kids who've done their reading. Okay. Well, thank you, Miss Ammons, for joining us today. Thanks for the interview, Mrs. Ammons. We'll be right back after this quick commercial. back to Tiger Vision News. And here's a look at, at today's announcements. If you've ever wanted to see a really good play, now's your chance. Members of choir and theater departments have been practicing uh, hard for their upcoming musical called Xanadu. The actual performance of the play will be October 24th and 25th, right here in the auditorium. The next meeting of the National Junior Society is October 10th. It'll take place at 7.30 a.m. in Mrs. Champion's room. If you're an officer, remember, you need to be there. Our first pep rally is a week from today. The rally is going to be pretty special. We need all of the cheer loud and do everything the cheerleaders tell us to do. And don't forget to buy a yearbook. You may order them online or go to Miss Allison's room and get them from one from her. The books will be ready in May, and you'll probably want to go ahead and reserve yourself a copy pretty soon. It's gonna be real. It's gonna be a really good book this year. Don't miss out. Now let's check in with Riley and find out what's going on in our weather forecast. Hi, I'm Riley here with the weather. Today's current conditions are 81, partly cloudy, 10% chance of rain, and winds with 10 miles an hour south. Today's regional forecast is a little bit of rain in Austin and Houston, but there's no rain in our area. The five-day forecast is warm temperatures the next five days with a pretty good chance of rain. I'm Riley with the weather. Back to you. Thanks, Riley. Now let's check in at sports. Hello, WebMS sports fans. I'm Samuel, and this is my co-host, Kendall. And here's a look at today's sports. Members of the eighth grade football team are ready for their next games of the season today. The coaches are making sure their athletes are up for the challenge. The games start at 5.30 and are here on our home field. Do your best, Tigers. The next day's match of the year is this afternoon. The B team plays Hutch. The C team plays tomorrow. All matches will be over on the high school tennis courts. The girls play Bush and volleyball tomorrow. Those games are scheduled to be played here at FMS. Get in some good practice before then, girls. That's the look at today's sports. Back to you. Well, that's all we have today. Thanks for watching Tiger Vision News. Everyone have a great afternoon. We'll see you later. Until then, Tigers. Bye!